Love you, Ross. That's all. I just wanted to say that before we started. Love you, Mads. I love you, Lana. Hi, you guys. We are the cast of To All the Boys, and we are going to play How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star with Murray Claire. Ooh. Do you think we're going to do good on this or not? I think we're going to get like a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I, would, I would say a solid 6 out of 10. Yeah, not mm -hmm. quite passing grade yet. So that's like a D. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll get about a D. How was I first introduced to my dog? A, a fan of To All The Boys sent me her adoption listing. B, she fell asleep on my lap during an interview with Puppies video. Or C, she was in a scene with me from Deadly Class. B. Yeah, B. Yeah, B. Of course. <laughs> yes, the correct <laughs> answer is B. Include a story. I knew it. You guys yep. off to a great start. I know. Without yeah. a doubt in my mind. Okay. I started a music video uh, for a hit song by which pop singer? A, Camila Cabello. B, Ariana Grande. C, Dua Lipa. I think I know the answer to this one, but I want to let the, the ladies answer first. Uh, I don't right. want them to cheat. That's fair. But we're not cheating here. No, 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 no. Hey. Oh, I knew it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's oh, correct. Yeah, it's very. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. All right, we're <laughs> <two and two. laughs> look at us. We're doing so well. Look, like, look at us. All right, Madeline, you're up. I spent 13 years training and competing in what sport? A, skiing. B, gymnastics. C, lacrosse. Oh, it's definitely not lacrosse. Okay, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, definitely A or B. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or gymnastics. I know the answer, but I, I, know, don't I know, know this one. I know this one. I think, oh, guys. You know. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? Say it at the same time. Listen, listen yeah. Noah, listen, you, you got to be open minded. You gotta, you gotta. You're such a, you're really, such a fool. You know. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I was gonna say A, and I just I feel like I gotta I gotta I gotta go down with the ship on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in A, even though <laughs> definitely not A. It's for sure the one B. that'll be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I wish it was A. That would be so cool. But it was B. Gymnastics for life. That's incredible. I can totally see your like tumbling very well. Yes, I love that. I love the bars. I like like the monkey bars at school. The baby stem from that. The pummel horse. It's the big horse thing. Yes, that that is. Speaking of this one that you find at bars that you have to like ride. What? <laughs> Outside of the grocery store when you're a kid and you put the quarters in. <laughs> that considered gymnastics because then I was a gymnast for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the first car I, I leased as an adult was a black Dodge Challenger. What name did I give it? A, Black Magic 90, B, Black Thunder 11, or C, Black Panther 3000. Better have been C. I'd be so upset if it wasn't. I I don't know if you guys know this one. Uh, when was Ross born? The early 90s? Definitely not born 90. in 90. Oh, 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 A! You guessed I was going to say B. Yeah, I was going to say B. I want to change my answer to A because I like Black it's Magic 90. Like <laughs> the real answer is B, Black Thunder 11, after my first AOL account that I made when I was 11 years old that I named Black Thunder 11. Should have been Black Magic 90. Well, <laughs> you should have been Black Magic 90. <laughs> so how old were you when you leased your first car? 24. <laughs> okay, so at the time, did you think you were pretty cool? Or I didn't I didn't think I was pretty cool. I knew I was pretty cool. You knew, yeah. okay. Well, well, was name. <laughs> who was my celebrity crush growing up? A, Daniel Radcliffe. B, Joe Jonas. Or C, Zac Efron. I don't know this. I want to say Daniel Radcliffe. I feel like you thought he was super cute. Yeah, because the other two are like known hotties and Daniel Radcliffe, he's an attractive guy, but he isn't like a known hottie. You know? I, so I'm i going to disagree. Like... I'm going to agree to disagree. I think it's C. I, th I feel like it's Zac Efron. I think it's Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. Made to see. The OG, Harry Potter. That's that's mine. I'm locking it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mads was correct and it was <laughs> Listen, you guys, 
guys, he was the first man that I ever fell in love with. Did I get behind, we are all in this together? Yeah, I did, because I believed in that sentiment. We're all in this together. Do you even read Harry Potter, though? Do you even lift, bro? Do you even read Harry Potter, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Did you even get past the half blood yeah. prince, bro? Dude. Uh, do you even speak parcel tongue, man? Um, <laughs> well, so she, yeah. she, you kind of look like you attend Hogwarts. You, your your costume right now, your costume. Your wardrobe okay. right now. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you're really quick. Guy. What house do you think each one of us would be in? No, what house do you think you'd be in? I've always like wanted to say Gryffindor. I but I took a test. You know, Gryffindor. <laughs> Yeah, but then I or, took a test and apparently I was Hufflepuff or Raven. Yeah, I was gonna say Gryffindor or Hufflepuff because you're kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about you, <laughs> you Mads? I would also like to say Gryffindor because doesn't everyone want to be Gryffindor? But I feel like I did a test once and I got Slytherin. So <gasps> I was surprised. Uh, I thought I'd get like Hufflepuff. I was really surprised. But it was, it was your 13 plus years of being a gymnast. A gymnast, I guess that's what did it. But I, I don't know if I trust it. I, I, I do know. get subtle. I do get subtle Slytherin vibes from you. Yeah. Mm, well. Subtle. I see it. Come on, Hufflepuff. Yeah, I, I kind of see it weirdly enough. I'm Ravenclaw pretty much all the way. A lot of. I feel like I'm Hufflepuff. Yeah. My first pet was a rabbit. Everybody knows that. What was the, uh, what was, what was it named? Is there, is there some trauma there you need to work out? <laughs> My dog <laughs> ate the rabbit in front of oh, me. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> what? Okay. Ross, <laughs> Ross, the fact that you picked up on this trauma. So That's you... crazy. Yeah. I buried my rabbit in the backyard after my dog ate it. <laughs> and her name, now I gave you, I gave you a little bit of a, of a clue here by saying the gender of the animal was A, carrot, B, princess, or C, Peter. <laughs> it comes Peter Cottontail, up and down the body trail. Ah! It, it was, yeah, princess, princess. Yeah. Two, I, princess. correct. Yeah. All right, gonna take it away with which of these actresses played my on-screen mom in my first big movie? A, Nicole Kidman, B, Julianne Moore, C, Amy Adams. Ooh, I can see all of them be her mom. But... I can see clearly now, Amy Adams. Oh, Cause okay. I'm just giving you a hint. <laughs> Amy Adams. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I can see that. This was in Big Eyes, that's right. She is one of okay. the coolest women on this planet. I know. No, you don't know anything. The first album I ever bought was by which artist? A, Smash Mouth, B, NSYNC, or C, Third Eye Blind. Ross, just give us a little bit of background. Is this like an iTunes buy, or is this like the first time you bought No, the CD? first C, I went to Tower Records, which a lot of people aren't gonna know what that is. And I bought a CD. What type of kid were you? I was like a happy kid. Okay. With, with, with some trauma. In between <laughs> A and B. What? Between A and B. Okay. I'm gonna say, I'm, I wanna say Third Eye Blind, but then. Would step back from that ledge. Because, because of your ability in guitar, and that's just like such a fun song to play. I'm gonna go with A. This is B. It's A, Smash Mouth. God damn it, bro! <laughs> Somebody Just once! The world was gonna roll. Uh, actually, not a bad album. I didn't know that Ross had horrible taste when he was a 12 year old. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that Ross. Between Black Thunder 11 and Smash Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We love you. Uh, go subscribe to Marie Claire.